Hey Lance Egan here with Flyfish Food. I want to show you the Rainbow Warrior Paradigon. So an updated Rainbow Warrior, much more durable, sinks a little faster. Check it out. Dude, that's a big brown bro. Alright, this is going to be the Rainbow Warrior Paradigon. So I've started with a size 18 Umqua 400 X series hook in the vise. It's basically just a size 18 jig hook, nice and small. I've got a bead on there already. This is a Hanek 2.5 mil slotted silver bead. You could tie this same size hook with a 2 mil, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, 2.8, 3.0, whatever you want, depending on how heavy or light you want this fly to be. And then you can also tie this fly in lots of sizes. I commonly tie them 14 through 20, uh, so using bead sizes, say, 3.5 through 2.0. All right, we're going to tie the fly with some 70 denier red thread. So I'm going to start the thread right behind the bead, wrap it back towards the bend of the hook. For the tail, we're going to use some Coke de Leon. Anything that's medium or dark pardo, both would work just fine. Pull a few fibers of that off. And we're going to capture them onto the hook like that then I'm going to wrap all the way to the bead that way I don't have a tie in bump at the back I'm going to trim the excess next we're going to take some large vivas tinsel you could do this with medium if you'd like to uh, especially if you start getting smaller than this a 20 or 22 you might want to downsize the tinsel but for the bigger sizes I really like the large tinsel so I'm going to capture it right behind the bead, wrap down the shank till we get to the tail, wrap back up to the bead, we're going to wrap the tinsel over the top of the red thread right up to the bead like so, I'm going to capture the tinsel, trim it as close as possible, and then we're just going to use the red thread to make a little hot spot right behind the bead. like that. I'm going to whip finish. And now you basically have a Rainbow Warrior without the dubbing. But what we're going to do is add a little bit of UV resin. This is Loon Flow. You could use Solar Res Bone Dry or whatever your favorite resin is. We're just going to put a little bit of it on the shank, covering the thread, covering the tinsel. I don't like tons of it on here, but just enough to kind of create a little bit of a tapered body. That got just a little bit too much of the thorax, but I'm going to use the top of this nozzle to try and spread it out just a little bit. Now I'm going to rotate it to try and hold that resin in position. Then I'm going to zap it with the UV light. This is the Loon Infinity Light, which is really, really powerful, rechargeable battery. You can uh, Save yourself some money by not buying several inexpensive lights and just buy one good one. Get this one or the plasma from Loon. They're awesome. And if you do what I just did and you get a little bit of resin in the eye, sometimes when the resin comes out a little bit too quick, you get a little bit of it in the eye, you can just hit the, the hook eye with another hook like this and poke that excess out of there. It's usually what I use Cheech's flies for. Otherwise, you've got yourself a Rainbow Warrior Paragon. This is a very durable fly, sinks very quickly, and it's very attractive to the trouts.